Hello friends, welcome to another edition of It's Time to Get Real. And uh, you may, if you if you like to test people, you would get an abbreviation called SMH, which means shaking my head. Well, after I seen this video, that's what I had to do. Uh, this guy, I was, uh, this video I was watching, it was called Can Christians Drink and Smoke? And he, I guess he was answering the question given to him. He not only went and said that it was permitted by scripture that it's okay that Christians can drink and smoke, but it's also commanded by the Bible, by God, that Christians can drink and smoke. And the passage even used, he never did give a verse, he just quoted, he just said Deuteronomy, which I think he took entirely out of text. And because God created tobacco, that it's okay. Well, first of all, yeah, God created tobacco, but guess what human beings did to it? They added nicotine, which makes it addictive. And there's no scriptural support to say that we should, that it's okay for Christians to drink and smoke. Alcohol is very dangerous to people. Before I became a Christian, I gave my heart to God. I had a problem with smoking cigarettes and drinking. It is bad for the body. I could testify to that, that it is bad for your body. God does not want anybody to put anything in their body that is bad for them. Anything bad for you is a sin. God does not command anybody to sin. And the very fact that he sit there and said that, he, that God permitted it and commanded it, you know, he's, he's going to lead people astray with his message in that video. And then he goes on to say there's a problem with uh, people in the nation. There's a lot of fat people in the nation. And that uh, we shouldn't judge if, if someone's fat and eating a lot. We shouldn't judge that someone's drinking or smoking. Uh, first of all, yes, food is addictive. And yes, it's wrong to eat a lot of food. You know, you should take care of your body. I'm for one, I know I need to take care of my body. I'm not the perfect shape I should be. But I know it's wrong. Just because it's uh, I continue to visit doesn't mean it disregards what the Bible says what's wrong. Just because you enjoy drinking and smoking cigarettes doesn't mean that the Bible still doesn't condemn it or says it's wrong. Now you can make the Bible say whatever you want. That's what I call reading from the Leprechaun Bible. You can make it say what you want, but that ain't what it means. And uh, and I agree, you can eat too much food. And there's some foods that's bad for you. Anything bad for you, God, does not want you to put in your body. You know, the thing about it is, when he, this, in this uh, video, this guy said it's okay if it's in moderation. And it's only when the problem only becomes when people get addicted. Well, first of all, you're going to get addicted to tobacco and alcohol. There's no ways around that. There's no such thing as a moderation. There's no such thing as a moderation of, of sin. Okay, it's okay to smoke crack if it was as in moderation. Is, is that okay? I mean, it's the same thing. It's bad for you. Nicotine, uh, cigarettes, cigars, it's all bad for you. The main reason I had to give it up because I was laying in sleep at night, hocking up a lung. Couldn't even sleep. Is that something good for you? Oh, it's because I didn't do it in moderation. And uh, I got addicted. Well, like I said, there's no ways around not getting addicted to it. The nicotine with these cigarettes makes it wrong. Tobacco is not good for anybody. Drinking alcohol is not good for anybody. You need to read your Bible and know when it talks about wine or whatever. It's not talking about wine that gets you drunk. It's grape juice. Look it up in the original text, original Hebrew and Greek, whatever, when it uses wine, the original language, and it will tell you what kind of wine it was. And I'm going to put a video that I dealt with uh, the issue of wine before on this video here, a little link in the description box. You can check that out. But to think about it is, this guy just totally blew me away, and all I got to do is shake my head after listening to this, when he said it's uh, uh, permitted and commanded by God, it's okay to drink alcohol, 
and smoke a cigarette. So it's okay for everybody to get behind the wheel, but they only drunk so much. But, you know, it's only a problem when they go a little too far. So when is it too far? How do you know when is it too far? There's no such thing as moderation of sin. It is a sin regardless. There's no such thing as moderation of disobedience. Stop, stop preaching stuff that's not correct in the Bible and misleading people. You know, God does not want us to do anything that will be harmful to our bodies. And that's point blank. And nobody's judging. There's uh, somebody is smoking and drinking. You know, you may gave your heart to the Lord and still may struggle with it, but you still have to get past past those addictions. And there you go. You sit there. It's not a problem to you addicted, right? You know, it's not a problem if I just walk past a bar, right? If I walk past a bar and I never drank a day in my life, right? It does not bother me. You know, if I smell it, but if I go in there and I drink it. Then it becomes a problem because I'm giving in to the temptation. I'm giving it a chance to where it will become a problem, where it will be addictive. You don't let the devil get a foothold in you. Alcohol is addictive. Cigarettes is addictive. You know, you can't say that's in moderation. Like I said, you, you don't smoke crack in moderation. You don't murder in moderation. You don't go have adulterous... Uh, fans in moderation. Sin is a sin in the eyes of God. Anything bad, anything addictive that can be addictive to for you is already known to be bad for you. You don't wake up in the middle of the night craving broccoli, do you? You can wake up if you wake up in the morning craving cigarettes because you're a smoker. That's because you're addicted to you. So why even try to smoke or drink? Why even give it a chance to make yourself addicted? Why even touch it when it's going to lead to that? You don't pick up a gun. Well, it's all right. I pick up a gun. But there's a, sh a chance you might shoot it. Why give it that chance? You know, don't... To, to this person that put this video out, you know, I'm going to pray for you because you, 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 you're misleading people with that message and I hope to God nobody took you serious. You definitely don't know what you're talking about. It's time to get real. Thanks for watching. As always, I stand by the word. God bless.